A pound? My mommies would love it. <laughs> Why the deer's getting married? That's uh, Rodney's son. Mm -hmm. I'm off to the game. Hold it right there. We've been waiting for you. Waiting and brooding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Your mother and I would like to see you do a few of your chores this week. Today is chore day. Well, I was hoping there would be a few things to do, mother, that I could do it. Later? What if God decided to create the world a little later? Where would we all be? <laughs> Look, the easiest thing for you to do right now would be for you to go to that game. Great! You touch that door one more time, you'll draw back a bloody stomp. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to learn that life is full of hard choices. Now have a seat. <laughs> Your mother and I would like to ask you a few questions. <clears throat> now, say the three of us decide to take the houseboat over to Lake Overton. Those cool waters beckon us in the summer heat. It is a scorcher. So your mom whips up some of her famous green potato salad. A little olive oil, a little dill. A little rosemary, it's delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, we gobble it up. Your mother's belly is as bloated as a tick. <laughs> and she decides to go for a swim, even though you know she can't swim. Although I do fancy myself a swimmer. She's delirious. I'm crazy from the heat. She strips down to what God gave her and dives head first into that bottomless lake overcoat. Immediately, jackknifing in a cramp, she looks like a boiled shrimp. Your father dies in after me. Because of love's bomb. Yes. You know about the steel shank in his leg. Mm -hmm. Well, he sinks like a man with the steel shank in his leg. <laughs> so there we are, the bottom of the ocean, at the bottom of the lake. How can a lake have no bottom? How would all the water stay in? You said it. There we are. We start to crawl towards each other. Our faces turning blue. Your father looks like a devil's crab. You can only save one of us. Who do you save? Huh? Tick tock, girl. You can only save one of us. Who do you save? The angel death's wings are fluttering over our heads. <laughs> You left them on the dock. You didn't do your chores that week either. <laughs> well, then I drive the boat and I get help and- No! There's no one around to help you! This isn't Fantasy Island! <laughs> then, I would drive along the circle, causing a reverse tornado, right, suck him up to the murky deep. Not only would that not work, <laughs> it is incredibly stupid. <laughs> it's a slap in the face. Well, that is a pretty tough question. Well, life is pretty tough, isn't it, Mother? Full-time job. Who do you love more? We're not going to get mad. We're not <laughs> going to scold you. We just want to know. Well, uh, I would probably pick that. Well, good morning. Sorry to hear you're dead. I suppose it doesn't matter that I carried you for six months. <laughs>
portion of the greasy gelatinous slop, and her stomach swells like a can of botulist mushrooms on sale at the a &P. <laughs> She goes over this boat like a soiled mattress. Some of there's dead because of the love blinds. <laughs> One word, impotent. <laughs> <laughs> My folks? Oh, some fish is probably laying eggs in their eye sockets right now. Ooh. I sign the boat up at the full throttle, go home, kiss your Molly take. <laughs> and then I go to the game. So screw you, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm proud of that girl. <laughs> <laughs>